Hi, John. <laughs> hey, everybody. Uh, John Warden, Design Manager on, on Generations, and, and I'm here to talk about the Cybertron Siege Commander class and Jetfire. Uh, Jetfire, as is, is a lot of G1 fans might recognize, is actually more based on his Skyfire appearance in the G1 cartoon show. And any good G1 fan knows that he starts off as a Decepticon scientist until he realizes the Decepticons are good for nothing and then he becomes a good guy. <laughs> um, he's got lots of great uh, features. Both some are practical, some are for converting, and others are just for, for detail and, and, and really a way to really justify plussing up this brand new commander uh, class character. So first up, you saw this, this uh, transformation or this conversion feature, but when you go to convert them into a jet or vice versa, you can flip these things up. When this uh, piece comes out, you pay attention to the head. It actually goes up into this trap door. And then when, you, when it comes out, the trap doors close. So you can see it's a simple thing, but there's spring loaded doors that really make this guy a joy to convert from robot to vehicle. It's really, really cool. Let me snap him back into position. Uh, next up, we've got this great feature in his hands. So both of his hands are equipped with this revolutionary new feature where you're able to close the palm of his hand and a five millimeter cord appears and allows him to hold the weapon and then it disappears. Oh, that's cool. So you're able to pose him out you know, with his hands in different ways. Uh, there's a couple of points on here where he's able to accept armor. So he comes with an armor module that you can either attach in jet mode like this or uh, you can pop this guy open and there's hidden inside is the Jetfire mask. So this is a kind of a newly stylized mask made of clear blue plastic. Um, it has a pin, like a square pin, that attaches to a spring-loaded joint on its head. So you can actually connect it and it um, kind of make them into this different version of Jetfire. Close this guy up and you're able to connect it onto his chest. You can con then connect all of these weapons and armor onto him to kind of give him a more of a jet fire expression. But if you're a G1 purist, you're able to switch him back to his pure G1 look. Um, let's talk about the jet mode for a second. Not only do you have this weapons module that can be removed, lots of cool areas, you can see the, the cannons are mounted underneath here. The, the, the jointed um, thing allows you to have a central, a central handle or two handles, splits into two, two weapons. Um, not only can you attach the, the blast effects together, they separate into three units, so you can attach them as single, single flares like that or contrail effects like the back here. Um, these things articulate down. You're actually able to, here's a fun feature, you're actually able to crack the nose cone like this and lift this up and this CP unit, unit removes and you're able, the Easter egg is you can place a uh, Titan's Return Titan Master in there so you can ride inside. That's cool. When you flip this guy over, you can see it's got working landing gears with wheels. Nice. Uh, but also four different uh, de troop deployment feature handles. And each one of these can accept a character. So if you're a big G.I. Joe kind of fan like, like I am, you're able to attach these guys. Oh, sorry, Cogs. <laughs> uh, you can attach them on like this and fly in your reinforcements into battle. Let's see if I can get it get his hand on there. It's an early sample. Murder's over. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, so there's four of those on there, and as you can see, this guy's chock full of cool detail all over his body. And the deco on him is, is pretty sophisticated as well. You've got blast effects, or, or fire, like the uh, weathering effects, but for this guy, they're super subtle. You can see they're actually uh, a, cool, a cool gray that kind of fades down um, in some places on his body so that it's, it's actually super subtle and uh, not overstated. And I think it fits with the entire figure. Uh, so I think there's something here for everybody. G1 fans have their Skyfire. I think fans of the new series have a new detailed uh, commander class character. And fans of Mecha really have a great new Transformer to play with. Great.
Thanks, John. Yeah, you bet. Thank you. John. Appreciate it. That was fantastic. <laughs> Is it question?